This is the second time Burhan Halier has been forced to flee his home in Ethiopia's Tigray region and seek refuge in this camp across the border in Sudan. I feel really sad. The first time I came was because of famine in 1985, but now it's because of war. That's why I feel really sad and I feel so much pain. The farmer says he had to step over his dead neighbours' bodies as he escaped the conflict at home raging between the Ethiopian government and the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front. This is inhumane, slaughtering people and stealing all their belongings. I feel the world has betrayed Tigray, because while people are being killed, others are doing nothing about it. It's estimated 44,000 displaced Tigrayans are now in this border camp. The UN is working to feed all of them, but its resources are being stretched more than ever. Unfortunately, during 2020, we've seen new spikes of conflict in places that were previously more peaceful. We've seen that obviously recently in the Gorno Karabakh. We've seen it in northern Mozambique. We've seen it in the Western Sahara. And at the moment, obviously, tragically, we're seeing it in northern Ethiopia. Adding to the pressure is displacement caused by climate change. Desertification, deforestation and drought are driving millions of people from their homes. Adding coronavirus into the mix has been catastrophic for aid agencies. The picture we are presenting is the bleakest and darkest perspective on humanitarian need in the period ahead that we have ever set out, I think. The UN is hoping to help 160 million of the estimated 235 million people who'll need aid next year. It will cost $35 billion, a figure that's almost certain to go unmet. The agency says just getting through 2021 without any major famines will be an achievement.